I hated it when I used this because sometimes it's just so flimsy that it comes up right away that you did everything yourself. You could really claim that you built your motor that way. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is the part where uh, I always develop a love and hate relationship. <laughs> uh, every time I'm doing this, lapping the valves and everything. But today's episode is, um, I'm going to show you how I lap those valves. Uh, just maybe just one valve, for example, just to, uh, to give you guys a, uh, a break. Because I know it gets boring when I have to show all of them. So let me start by applying the uh, grinding compound. But make sure that all the valves are all clean and everything. And you just simply squeeze a little bit on it from the tube and apply it on there. Just like so. Later on, I will show you how I clean those valves also. You're probably wondering, all those valves are also clean. And also, make sure that the stem is free of that compound. Yeah, you don't want to put anything on that stem. Otherwise, the uh, valve guide is made of uh, bronze and uh, it's not good. You're gonna end up having a, a worn valve guide if you ever introduce that on there. And once you get it on there, Just make sure like, to give it a turn while you're pushing it down. And this is what I meant by having a love and hate relationship with this one. <laughs> I loved it when everything is all done because I know that I did a good job that uh, I would have a, a good seal whenever those valves are all seated and everything. I hate it when using this tool. It's just somehow, it has to be dry and clean. Otherwise it won't stick. But this is like the third, the third day that I'm doing this and I've, I've finally done with it. Uh, I'm also waiting for some parts to show up, that's why. So you just simply stick it on there and like I said, make sure everything is clean and dry and give it a turn and every now and then just lift it up to spread the, uh, right there, see, that's one already. And what we are looking for or what we want to hear is that fine sound. I hate it when uh, when it does this. You're really taking a lot of your time. Right there. That fine sound. Once you hear that, there then you're done and just simply pull it up and use two different rags one for cleaning and one for final clean because you don't want to spread those uh, those grindings the compound and you just check Turn, make sure you have an even 
mating surface. So once you're satisfied, just put it on your uh, rack. And I have another one here that I just got done with this. Do an inspection, make sure you all have that mate, the grinding uh, mating surface right there, and put on your stack. Uh, one tip on doing this, if you can, this assembly, just make sure to retain the springs together. Because this, well, the spring have two different part numbers. The intake and the exhaust have two different part numbers. But they are color coded. And also, as far as like when you take out your valves, just do it like this. Get yourself a cardboard, put punch some holes in it. And as you remove it, you put it on like how you got it off from the head. So if you are going to reuse your springs, yeah, just make sure that you... Uh, contain them together but for me I'm going to replace those springs anyway I'm gonna put a new one I'm still waiting for the mailman to show up uh, they, according to the computer it said it's gonna be here today so as the head gasket and always make sure that there's no nicks or you know being banged up in a machine shop or anything like that after you pick it up and everything and you're good to go and if you source a cylinder head from someone else that you don't know the history about always make sure that you have the restrictor that goes in here at the center which is this one i'll put this on later yeah yeah here i got an extra uh, valve here that i can show you how i clean those uh those valves but as you can see how heavily this thing is carbonized and before I tried everything I tried razor blade scraping it and everything and uh, use a scotch bright or sandpaper it's just uh, a little bit hard to clean but uh, this one I've been doing this for who knows how long and I never had any problem but I'll always make sure to protect the valve stem I put a, a vacuum hose and just cut it to length then I put it into my uh, Drill motor. Not too tight, just enough to hold it. And then this way you could also check if your valve stem is good. As far as like being straight, you can turn it and if this thing wobbles, then you know you have a bent uh, valves. Especially if you don't know the history of your uh, cylinder heads. And always wear your eye protection when you're doing this. And I'm going to use my uh, bench grinder that has a, uh, a brass wheel on it. This thing is softer than this hardened steel. I will not be uh, liable if you uh, damage your, uh, your valves, but I'm just showing you how I clean my valves the fastest way and also um i'm trying not to hit those the from where the uh, the the surface of the valve is gonna be sitting on the seats that area i try not to uh, hit those i that's what the lapping uh procedure is about anyway 
So I'm just gonna, or even if I hit those very lightly, I'm gonna try to hit it lightly, but I try not to. And always, again, wear your safety glasses, okay? Because this thing is, it breaks off sometimes. And also, I'm only polishing it right up to the area. See this shiny part? I try not to hit those. Only the part from where it begins to carbonize in that area. I will begin at the stem, going out. See how it cleaned it up in a few seconds? Right there, that area. I should wear a glove. See? That's the top before and then this is after. Yeah, that. It's all clean. Even the top. <laughs> see, see the difference. If you have the time and place, it is really a good idea if you do it yourself as far as reconditioning, you know, lapping the valve and everything. And I'm almost done with this. It took me like three days to do this, but I was taking my time because of uh, I'm still waiting for some parts to arrive. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here and uh, let's build that project, man. I'll see you guys back. Bye, everyone. Take care.